Hi, Mike here. This week, I received an email from Tim who said, firstly, I love your YouTube channel. Thanks, Tim. He then went on to say, I have a table of tasks which fall under different headings. And the final column is complete or not complete. I want to create a dashboard using pivot tables, but I'm unable to work out how to present percent complete in the pivot table and dashboard. Can you help? Hopefully, Tim, the example that I use in this video will be similar enough for you to apply to your own situation. As usual, if you want to follow along, you can download a copy of the demo file from the link in the description below. So here's my task list. You can see that some tasks are complete and some aren't. I'm going to put the pivot table into the same sheet as the data rather than put it on the dashboard. What I'm going to put on the dashboard is a rectangular shape to make it look like a tile or card. And I think that's a better way to display KPIs or key metrics. But if you want to put the pivot table on the dashboard, you can do. So I'll click on insert on the ribbon, click on a pivot table. I'll just stick it in H2 on this task sheet and click OK. And then I'll drag status into rows and that will give me the complete and not complete. And I will drag status also into values. Now that defaults to account because status contains text. It defaults to account. I want to convert those counts into percentages of counts. And to do that, right click on one of the numbers in column I, select show values as, and we get a list. Now this is the Mac version of Excel. There are fewer options compared to the Windows version, but the option that I want, percent of grand total, is there. So I'll select it and I now have my percentages. I'm going to change those to show as zero decimal places. So I'll just select them, go to the Home tab and then reduce the number of decimal places. Now that might actually be enough for Tim, but for me, dashboards are all about how the data is presented. So how do I do a KPI card? I'll go to the dashboard sheet and I'll add a rounded rectangle by clicking insert shapes and choosing the rectangle that I want. Again, the Mac version, the dialog box is slightly different. I'll click on the rounded rectangle and I'll just click anywhere for the moment on the spreadsheet. It's not actually a rectangle. It's created a square with rounded corners, but I will sort that out in a minute. I'll just move that out of the way for a moment. I then need a formula to combine the words completed tasks with the percentage from the pivot table. I'm going to put the formula into B3 on the dashboard sheet. Eventually, the KPI card shape will cover the formula. So this is the formula. It takes the word completed tasks, followed by a colon and a space, and it adds to it the contents of I3 on the tasks sheet. I want the 0 0.7 to display as 70%. Because the figure is part of a text string, I need to wrap that particular part of that formula inside a text function. So I'll edit the formula, click just before the T of tasks, type text open brackets. The first parameter of the text function, Microsoft calls a value. In this example, it's the cell that contains the value, the 70% or the 0 0.7. So I'll leave that as it is. It's pointing to the right cell. Click after I3, put in my comma, and then I need to apply a format. I need to tell Excel how to format that cell. And in this example, it's going to be take the number with a percent symbol and no decimal places. That has to go in double quotes. And the code is zero, which represents the number and a percent sign. Close the brackets and enter. The next thing to do is to deal with the shape. Now, eventually, as I said, the shape will be placed over the top of the formula. The, the formula could have actually gone onto the task sheet, but I'm putting it on here and then I'm going to hide it with the shape. I don't actually want to see that formula. 
I will do that in a minute, but for the moment I need to resize the shape. I also need to recolor the shape. So with the shape selected, I'll go up to shape format on the ribbon, click on shape fill and choose the color that I want. It's actually my recent colors there, so I can pick it up from there. To get the contents of B3 into the shape, with the shape selected, I click on the formula bar, type an equal sign and either type B3 or click on B3 and then press enter. And what that's done is that's taken the contents of B3 and put it into the shape. Then I can format the text in the shape again from the home tab. I'll make it bold. I'll make it larger font. Let's go for 20 points need to make it a little bit wider by the look of it. There we go. And I'll also make the text white and center the text left to right and center the text top to bottom. Then I can drag the shape, place it in position. And there we go. So if I was to go back to my uh, task list and I was to change a couple of tasks to complete and we'll change that one to complete. When I refresh, the pivot table will update. So we've now got 90% complete. And if I go back to the dashboard, that has pulled through to here. Okay, I hope you found the video useful. If you did, please give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'll catch you in the next video. But until then, have an excellent day. Thank <laughs> you.